Howdy folks, Dave Brady here with another example of Hyperlinks Analog. In this example we're going to take a look at a little amplifier built out of a couple op amps. It's got an inverting gain stage and uh, another inverting stage where the gain is really set to one. And what I want to show you is how to um, configure your schematics so that you can use it for both PCB layout and PCB functional um, simulation without corrupting the schematic in terms of the PCB layout. So what we're going to do here is we're going to define some sources and we're not going to do it in the schematic. We're not going to put a bunch of symbols in here to corrupt the schematic. We're going to use this spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and define our positive power rail. So positive power and we're going to connect that to VCC and then to ground. In this case it'll be uh, 15 volts. So that's our first rail. Now let's set up our negative rail. So neg power. And we'll connect this one to VSS and then to ground. This will be minus 15 volts. And now we need an input waveform. So let's create wave in being real creative with our naming conventions connect that to sig in and to ground and in this case you know we probably want uh, something a little more complicated than just the DC voltage since we've got an amplifier so offset voltage in this case we'll set it at zero amplitude one volt frequency 200 Hertz a delay, let's just go ahead and add a little delay, 0.1. A dampening factor, just to show what we can do with the sine wave. Set that at 1. So that's it. Now we've defined our simulation sources, and if we wanted to, we can click, modify, do whatever we want. So we've got that set up. Now let's take a look at how you set up your simulation run. So in this case, you can see that all of our simulation runs, our DC analysis, or transient analysis or frequency analysis are all set up here in this one dialog. You just select what you want to set up. But also your parametric sweeps, your temperature sweeps, and in addition your Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo analysis, your worst case analysis. In this simple example we're just going to set up a little transient analysis. We're going to run this for let's say 1.5 seconds and set up some data points Now let's go ahead and simulate and you can notice that this output window is automatically popped up and that what that's telling us is the progress of the simulator so if you're going through here and you you know catch an error or you have a have a problem you forgot to define something maybe then you'll notice that in the output in that output window as you can see rather quickly hyperlinks analog has popped up easy way for hyperlinks which is our waveform viewing and analysis tool set. So here's our signal in and you can see you know we delayed it for about a tenth. We've dampened it so it's, you know a little bit more than your standard sine wave input. And here's the first stage output and then the final stage output. So now let's just go ahead and take those and let's stack them all together just because it's a neat capability and we can do it. Now let's zoom in here a little bit and let's take a look. So this is our input signal. Um, here's the stage one output. You can see it's an inverted form of the signal. And then our final output signal. And you can see in this case it's not inverted. And we've quickly gone through and we've generated our output. So it's real easy to use hyperlinks analog very fast. Um, the waveform viewing and analysis is very easy to use. And I've showed you some voltages here, but you know, if we wanted to, we could take that first resistor and we could plot its current. And if we wanted to, we could drag and drop there and we can get two different y-axes. Turns out you can have as many y-axes as you want and you get as many different waveforms in the window. But the other thing we could have done is we could have just created another waveform window if we wanted to. So it's completely up to you in terms of what kind of waveform viewing and analysis that you want to take a look at. 
And that's it for this example of hyperlinks analog.